Hello and welcome to Salem 42. Today we're installing a Victron charge controller. 100 stroke 50. That's 100 volts, 50 amps. We're locating the controller in the aft cabin underneath the bed. Securing the Victron controller is just a matter of placing four screws on each side of the unit. I have pre-wired the controller, leaving enough towels to go into the isolator. I installed the back plate of the enclosure with two screws and then pre-wire the isolator outside the unit. After installing the isolator onto the DIN rail, I just push the two clips underneath and lock it in place. After measuring the towels, give yourself an extra 100ml. That should be sufficient, just in case you need to remove the isolator. It's good practice to use a ferrule in the breakers and on the machine itself as there's lots of movement with the boats and RVs. Tighten all terminals up and lugs. Making sure that the isolator is in the closed position, so the off position, to isolate the PV from the charger. So this is the ground for the heat sink on the back of the charger. This goes to your earth or your ground on the boat or RV. This is not a neutral for the unit. So when you've got to the end of your cable, just make a loop around and tie it off so you can actually write what the cable is doing. So twist the cable around and double it over. This will give you a good bite on the lug itself. So 
So the ground comes in from the small consumer unit down to the charger, from the charger to the inverter, then from the inverter to the solar charger. First connect the MPPT to power. This is by taking two tails from the unit to the battery. When pulling the cables through the deck, be sure to leave a drip loop. Where the cables pass through the gland, I use heat shrink just to tighten the job up.
So the last thing to do was connect these two cables to these solar panels and switch the Victron app on. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.